it's been a while, but yeah. So uh, let's get started, I guess. So first off, I am moisturizing with my Aveeno complexion moisturizer, and then I went in and I primed my face with Urban Decay face primer, and pretty much the primer is just going to hold on to my amazing holiday look uh, throughout the night. And then I'm going to my foundation, which is, uh, what is it, Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. And this is in the color Neutral Beige. All the products will be listed down below in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. So yeah, um, so I'm pretty much just applying it with my Real Technique Beauty Blender. And then of course I'm priming my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer as well. And of course, as usual, I'm going to bake my eyes and my face with my translucent powder, uh, which is airspun. And I'm just going to help absorb the oils that I have on my face naturally. And if I bake my eyelids, um, it pretty much helps my creasing to not crease at all um, because I have oily eyelids. So this is why I bake. And then I did my eyebrows off camera. So now I'm going to uh, take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna brush up all the excess powder that I just had left on to sit there for about 10 minutes. And I'm taking my Morphe Max 350 palette. I'm taking that creamy, uh, orangey, beige color and I'm going to put that all over my eyes. And this is going to be as my transition color. And with this, this is going to help make all the shadows collide together to be very well diffused and more ombre like so that's what the goal is for the shadow and I just don't know what I'm doing here why I keep looking off the side and I keep laughing my butt off I am watching wow <laughs> I am watching a uh, rush hour three I love that movie so now I'm taking this dark not dark but this chocolate um, brown color and I'm going to put this on the outer corners and the inner corners of my eyes and I'm taking my big blending brush and I'm applying the color on and then I'm taking a smaller blending brush I'm going to blend the shadows out with that smaller blending brush and all these brushes are very affordable as well all these brushes are all drugstore brushes I can't afford high-end makeup uh, brushes so yeah so now I'm taking the dark chocolate brown eyeshadow and I'm going to take this, I'm going to define my eyes. So I'm going to put it onto the outer corners as well and the inner corners and this is just going to accentuate my eyes and just to give more definition to the eye look. And of course, I'm applying it with a bigger brush and then blending it out with a smaller brush. Um, of course, make sure you do little by little and just take your time because you don't want to put too much and then for it to be a hot mess so yeah and be careful to not put too too much into the inner corners because if you put it in the inner corners a lot it's just going to make your eyes look really small and if you are asian like me and you have model lids or you have asian eyes like mine um well if you put a lot of dark shadow onto your eyes it's just gonna make you look like you have no uh, eyes at all so or lids then I'm taking my Urban Decay Vice palette I'm taking this color um, goodness I forget what it's called I think it's called ooh I think it's called dig it I'm taking this shimmery shimmery sand color and I'm gonna put this into the middle of my eyelids and this is the show of the star and I absolutely love this look um, I was just playing around as I was recording this so I, while doing this I was like oh my gosh this is absolutely amazing so yeah to put more pressure onto or to put more um, pigment into the shadow I'm using my finger to add more um, glitter to make it more pop out so that's what I'm doing and then I wanted a bit more definition and a bit more smoky and a bit more dramatic I started using a black shadow and I put it into the outer corners and then a little bit into the inner corners and then I blend it out and smoked it out
you can see, I am definitely loving this look. I'm just like so in awe. So yeah, with black shadow, when you're playing with it, you really want to make sure you add a little by little with the black shadow, because you don't want to make your eyes look like you got a black eye. Um, so yeah. And of course, I thought I kind of ruined a little bit of the shimmer, so I add a little bit more with my fingers just to pop it out a bit more. Of course, don't forget to blend the edges or it'll look really tacky. And then of course, I'm applying my wing eyeliner. I can't live without my wing eyeliner. I think it just completes the entire look with any look actually. And then I'm going to curl my lashes, do mascara, and pretty much tight line and all that junk, as well as putting fox lashes on. I did my fox lashes off camera, so. And then I really like this blue color of this blue pencil that I got. It's the Maybelline uh, Dramatic Gel Pencil Eyeliner. I'm just going to put that onto the waterline just a little bit. Then I'm taking this blue color from the Vice palette called Chaos. And I'm just taking this and I'm putting it on top of the blue eyeliner just to give a bit. To set it so it won't, you know, smudge and all that. And then I went to the dark brown that we put into the outer corners and the inner corners of our shadow and I put that on the waterline to just help smoke it out just a bit as well. Then I took this color, um, I believe it's called Foxy and this is in the Urban Decay Basis palette. And I'm going to put that on the brow bone just to help clean up all the edges on the shadow. And if you guys are hearing stuff in the background, I'm watching Christmas movies right now, so don't mind it. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this look. I think this would be great for Christmas and holiday parties that you guys will be attending. Um, it's very not too crazy. So you can wear it on a daily basis. Oh wow, see I'm totally checking myself out. I just love this look so much. What am I doing? Do you guys see that big pimple of mine? Oh, okay. So I'm taking this really pretty pink shimmery color. I forgot what it's called. I don't know a whole lot about this palette because even though I have this for a long, long time, I just don't use it as much as I usually do. So I'm going to take that color and I'm just going to pop it into the inner corner just to brighten up my ass just a bit. But yeah, I love this palette, but I don't use it as much as I usually do. It's just, I don't know, I feel like I am I go towards the neutral colors nowadays. So now I'm taking my Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D. I'm pretty much just going to contour my face. And I left my blush at home home like I'm in college right now so I went home for Thanksgiving and I left my blush at home so I'm pretty much blush blushless until I go back home which is not another two weeks so it's okay but yeah I don't have any blush in this tutorial well you guys I recommend put blush on because you look pale as AF like look at me so I'm taking this lipstick and this is uh, like I said description in the box below you know whatever I applied it on. But yeah, this is the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!